Hello, Shari, c'est moi, Mr. Pastra, performance artist, singer, and musical soul player. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you all about one of my other influences, Mr. Lee Bowery. Lee Bowery was an Australian performer who moved to London and uh, he completely transformed himself from rather an ordinary person into a legendary club promoter, fashion designer and performance artist. He transformed his body completely by the use of extreme costume and styling. One thing I really like about Lee Bowery is that he wasn't afraid to go the distance. He really let it all hang out, literally. Today's influences can be felt all over the fashion industry, um, artists, poets, visionaries, everyone takes inspiration from Lee and he was actually quite, quite advanced for his time. Lee Bowery was in a band, Lee Bowery was in films, he collaborated with theatre producers. He really covered the whole spectrum of, 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 our, of the arts. I think Lee Bowery is a really good example of transformation. This is a person who completely reinvented himself, his persona and the way people perceived him by the use of costume and makeup. He was the perfect example of transformation. From Cinderella to Jekyll and Hyde, Google him. There's a wonderful DVD out called The Legend of Lee Bowery, which I actually found in a little backroom shop in the Caribbean when I worked on a cruise ship, but we won't go there. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie since in, 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 a, in a shop, so um, I've found this little DVD and um, yeah, it's really good. I was actually one to compare to him, which I found quite interesting and bizarre because um, obviously we're quite different, but at the same time, it's, it, it's, it's quite, um, a compliment as he is a very interesting personality and he led a very interesting life. I am much more reserved and introverted. I actually, um, when I was 18, I went to a fortune teller and I had my, my tea leaves read. And the fortune teller actually said to me, you can't do this, you're too sensitive. And that has stuck with me and it's still true. And I've learned over the years to harden up and how to use what I am um, for artistic purposes, I think it's very hard to keep true to yourself sometimes as there's a pressure of delivering and entertaining people all the time. So I found a, um, a good balance to show what I want to show or share when I want to share it and then retreat. Um, I don't have to be on show all the time. I'm not a show pony. It's quite strange when people expect me to be something that I'm not or they meet me. Um, I met someone in a club and they started talking to me and they said, and they turned to me in her worst German accent. Actually, she is German, so it wasn't bad. And she said, oh my God, you're actually human. 